Hi and welcome to this video. My name is Brian Nelson from Encaustic Art Plus, based in Elsica, South Yorkshire. Welcome to the video again. It's a cold day so I've got my hat and my coat on still. I'm going to do some reverse tissue technique. Um, loading a, a normal double ply tissue this time. Um, and uh, So I'm just going to load it up first with some colour. Some brown to start with. Apply the colour to the point of the iron, the triangle area, and just make a good section of colour. You might want to put two or three layers of colour on. Don't paint your nail like I've just done. And we're going to go to yellow next. If you look, sort of overlap them as well, and then some gold. Um, I'm going to some red. But if you look, I'm sort of slightly blending them next to each other. Some people make a square because um, they find that easier for themselves as well rather than a long. But I find it easier with a long piece and slide it around on my work. Then I just want a green section. I'm just going to peel this back up, oh, split the tissue, that doesn't really matter, feel like. and what we can do is just let that just cool for a few seconds, this end's already cool, and I'm going to take off the majority, not at all, of this tissue that we're not going to need. Right. Take our piece of painting card, selected size, whatever size we want. I'm just going to clean up my iron really quickly. Just give that a quick wipe around. So that's the that's the right side that, that was where we applied the wax. So that's going face down onto the work. And then we're going to use the iron point and sides of the iron to transfer some of this wax around. So on a bit of brown, I want it about there, somewhere. And you just sort of push around. I'm not sure what I'll get, I'll get little bits. Oh, there we go. Gives us an idea. I want some green in a similar area. I'm just going to go back in here around where the green is. So you're just remelting and reworking. from this red, let's see, put a bit more heat to it, that's better, better, some of the gold, and the yellow, just because we've got all them colours we might as well have a bit of all of them, right and at first you're thinking oh that's a bit messy, don't worry, might be, but then we can just touch our iron in and pull it where we want it. Pull and push and take off the thick bits. Right, 
I'm just going to create another small place over here. In the same way, just applying some heat and peeling it up. bits of wax I've got and at first you think oh it doesn't look much that in a second you'll see just keep working a few bits going upwards start to look a bit more like an island or something just go into this one and do a bit more you've got a stylus tool you can always use some of the um, tips off that as well and do the same same technique just using the different shapes get some amazing effects you might find that in another video later at some point Right, so we've got two little areas there. And you're thinking, oh wow, what else are we going to do with it? How's it going to look anything? We're going to crayon in some water. Nice and gentle. With a block. And if we want, we can blend that with some heat. I'm also going to put a sky in while I'm here. Same block. Right, so we've got some blue in there. Right. Take a different blue. And I'm not going to be specific as to the blues I've used because you might not have these same ones that you're in your box at home. And I don't want you to feel that you've got to go out and buy every single colour. To blend it even more, if you warm the underneath paper with your iron and then just take some tissue, this is a single ply piece but it doesn't matter really whether it's single or double the heat that you've just applied to the to the pad should transfer a little bit yeah it has and just help you to soften or roughen the blue if you rub um, quite well with your finger um, you'll get enough friction and enough heat that way as well to be able to blend the colour quite nicely just going to warm that up again a little bit I'm just popping the iron in the same same place you can always turn the temperature of the iron up a little bit just from low just up a couple of clicks you don't need to turn it up very much the thermostat in these irons is very good. Might have even done it a bit too much now, knowing me. It doesn't matter. So I'll just show you. So we can, yeah, that's better. We can just get a, a softer look with the blue. And then the same with the water. Give that a blend in. You can add a bit of yellow to that if you want. 
Might rub it greenish, but it's fine. What we're doing. Now, if that mounted as a card, it'll look really quite good. There you go, that's another one. People seem to really like them. Happy painting, everyone, and we'll look forward to seeing you all in our next video. Please hit like and subscribe.